Uh, today was a very special day for me. I got the ride on my GS 1100E. I've had this bike since it's brand new. I've got a little over 73,000 miles on it. It runs better than the day I bought it. It has been with me for 40 plus years. I have two sets of body work. I actually have two of the bikes. I have a spare bike and I have a West Cooley set of body work. I have a set of gold wheels. I have a set of black wheels. And this bike, from the day I bought it, I fell in love with it, and I still love it now. Well, it looks like today we're going to be blessed with another really nice riding day. Temperatures might even go up into the high 60s. Mm, you never know. The weatherman's been pretty good to us lately. We've gotten a couple of nice rides. Got to ride the Hoisung yesterday. A lot of fun. I got to see some friends we haven't seen in a while. Today we're going to head out on the open road. Now it's been so nice the last couple days. Karen's got excited about planting plants. She bought some seeds. We have some of that starter soil. I don't know if she's going to want to do that when I get home, but before I get working on a farm, we always have the same thing to do. Move motorcycles around, feed the fish, have an extra cup of coffee, check the final weather, which I think is going to be perfect, and then get out of here. Get out on the open road. Now I have a pretty standard routine that I use every time I ride a motorcycle and I do try to ride as many days as possible and it probably averages out to about 300 days a year. I always want to ride a clean bike, that's just me, personal. I always check the oil, the chain and of course the air and the tires. And of course it's right 99% of the time but that one time it isn't and you pull out of the driveway and oh, I don't know. so. I learned my lesson the hard way. It's easy to check it before you get all suited up and you have a helmet on and gloves and everything. Final check of the weather is going to be absolutely beautiful day today. Absolutely beautiful. Just couldn't be nicer. We wait for this kind of a day all year long. Okay, boys, don't bite me. Don't bite me. There's food for everybody. Come on. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it if you try. Then we have the first couple of flowers in our garden. Geez, what a beautiful time of year this is. Woo, what a day this is gonna be. Pretty soon all those planters are gonna be filled with veggies. We're gonna be eating fresh veggies all summer. Now the nice thing about this bike, one of the really nice things is the comfort level and you, you can plan a ride as long as you want. That saddle doesn't get uncomfortable as the day goes on and that engine just keeps growing it along. Now this might be the last time this year you see these shelves empty without having little seedlings started, but it's time. And it's coming, and every year this time of year, we really look forward to it. Last year we painted those wheels on video. We have the whole video set of doing them. And looking at the wheels right now, I couldn't be happier. We got that orange stripe, red orange stripe to match the decals. And spent a lot of time getting that exactly right. Buffed out the wheels. Perfect. One of 
the surprising things at a bike is it's 40 years old. It's a 40 year old bike. The suspension still works perfectly. The engine still runs great. I, I just, it's really amazing to me how well this bike has stood 73,000 plus miles. And it was during this time that most of the big manufacturers went from air-cooled engines to liquid-cooled. And I think the beauty of these air-cooled engines, all of the old ones, the Kawasaki, this one, the just the fact they don't have that big radiator in front, it just makes for a beautiful, beautiful motorcycle. And this is one of the best. One of the things that's special is the bike is so docile down low right off idle and you, you it seems like you just flip a switch in your mind and all of a sudden you hold it wide open and it is just a tiger. It just changes personality in the flip of a switch. It's amazing, the power band. Now, to be real honest, whenever I've ridden with people that have modern sport bikes with probably a lot more power, better tires, and uh, whatever, once we get into the twisty roads, I I don't see a giant difference. I see a little difference, but not that they get that they're ever going to get away from you. Now I have very high gearing on this bike, 16 on the counter shaft, 40 on the back sprocket. So I'm in, ess in essence, I'm in overdrive all the time. I never ride with passengers. I don't need that low, low gear. But out on Route 80, when you're laying on the tank, that gearing is great. This is always one of my favorite little areas. This thing really sneaks up on you and there's a real, a lot of little switchbacks here that sneak up on you. And that's the beauty of the bike. It's not just one of the first super bikes. It's comfortable. It's got long legs. It's got a giant gas tank. You get 200 miles to a tank of gas. It's got so many things going for it. That's what's beautiful about this bike. And we have several videos out there. In fact, there's a new one I just put out recently about polishing the engine and different tools you can use and different techniques. And that's this, the beauty of this bike is there's the centerpiece of the whole motorcycle. And that's a beautiful part of the motorcycle. Now, it's beautiful on a day like today. I had a little bit extra time. It was still just a little bit cool out, and I wanted to get an extra hour of riding. With that seat and those handlebars, you, you could drive 
until you get bored to tears. I wanted to thank Pokey for getting me the EBC discs, and they had the floaters, of course. Joe Padula donated some steel brake lines. I upgraded the brakes front and back on this. New pucks. It just turned out to be a great investment. think one of the things about this bike that's special is just how many good things it does well long rides short rides twisty roads chasing down sport bikes surprising them whatever it it every day you ride this bike it's a different bike than the day before and it does everything well And as if everything wasn't good enough, I have to honestly say the bike is really pretty good on gas. It definitely gets way better mileage than some of my other bikes. I won't mention any names. I've had several sets of Michelin commanders on this bike over the life of the bike and they are my first choice of tire. They wear real well and they're really good in, in every way that you can imagine as well as a free bonuses. They're relatively easy to mount. But every day out on the open road has to end, and this day ended on a super positive note. I got some nice photos, worked on my photo skills, video skills, and the ride home on Route 80, as boring as it is, at least you're sitting in a comfortable saddle with handlebars that uh, don't give you a crimp in your neck. But it's time to get home to Karen and see what's going on at the farm. I'm back. I'm ready for lunch on a porch. A little chilly? Okay. Chili. Chili belongs in Mexican restaurants. It was beautiful today. Well, Karen says it's a little chilly. She's right. It is chilly. Once you get off the bike, it's cold. I don't know what the hell's going on here. But anyway, it was a beautiful day. You could see the sun is shining. And we got a nice ride in. And even though we don't have a radar detector, we still had a little... Have a little fun once in a while. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy sharing this ride with us. Maybe you're even at work and your boss is paying you to watch this. I don't know. Either way, it's a lot of fun. I like to watch on my big screen TV and just pretend 
I get my ride for the second time. But hey, enjoy every ride you can. Summer's coming. Trees are blooming. It was a beautiful day. I'm glad I could share it with you. Now, in the 40 years I've had this bike, I've had a lot of really good adventures with it. And one of my favorites is always the rides up to Moodna. And a lot of times, and I've taken lead rides up there for people that are from the city that are not familiar with the area. Vlad, particularly, and Dennis really enjoy going up to that area. There's some beautiful roads around the viaduct there. And Jose knows these roads way better than I do. But every time I ride with him, I find a couple that I didn't know before. And so I'm little by little coming up with my own little uh, custom rides up in that area, in the Moodin area. But this is one of the bikes that I enjoy riding up in that area so the roads are relatively nice and scenic and once you get up there three four five hours just disappear and you wonder where they went You're, it's amazing how quickly they they disappear into your memory bank anyway i just wanted to put a few photos of the bike while it had the west cooley bodywork on there and again i've had the bike since new i've treasured it i hope to have it forever and the, it's funny how the people that really do have these bikes, and I know several people that do. In fact, Joe Padula has one, and so does Aaron, and everybody. It, it, you, once you have one, you, I don't see a lot of people that want to sell them right away. Andy Lee had one. Wow, there's a lot of people have. Dallas, of course, has one, and he treasures his. People really do treasure them. They are a treasure, and and worth all the time and energy I put into all the work I've ever done on it, including the wheels. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We post up every day, and maybe we'll see you tomorrow.